Paul, first of all, how is everybody after Tuesday? Uh, we need to see one or two little knocks for Tuesday. Uh, obviously, need to see how Andy is after the, the warm up. So um, we'll have a look at it and uh, yeah, two games to go. And we'll, but I have to view everybody this afternoon. How difficult was that to lose your goalkeeper at such short notice? I mean, it's not the first time you've lost a player mm. at short notice in recent weeks. That's frustrating because everything's done and, and planned and your, your shape work's all done, but it's it's a blow. But Harry, I thought, done done well. I thought, as I said before, I thought he should have saved the, saved the shot. But other than that, he, he, I thought he'd done, done really well. So young young kid, learning the trade. But it, it probably puts you up in the... It disrupts you a little bit when, when that, things like that happen. It's been a couple of injuries the last couple of weeks. Is that kind of, I mean, it comes at a horrible time any time, but does that kind of indicate what kind of season it's been that it's been hard work for a lot of players? It has. It's, uh, it's, um, it, we've, we've, had a, we've had a few, quite a decent uh, few highs and some lows. As I said before, the consistency level's been up and down. and So we've had some really good moments in some moments where you, you care to forget. But that's, that's football. That's that's the way football works. And the players have, have given us everything, effort-wise. And, and Do you know, Mike, I'm sitting here and um, we played. We feel as though we played Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for a long time. It's, uh, and we're talking as a staff, as a group, that they felt the same. They can't remember where it's been as constant as a Saturday, Tuesday. So we've come through it when we when we really had to push. And the... And I think, as I said before, I think the lads need need a break. Staff needs a break as well. It's been a long, a long haul, and and you get regrouped and you get refreshed for the summer. Because we sometimes talk, don't we, about the fact that it's not just physical strain. Sometimes mm. mental strain mm. and the the mental side of the game can be all important. Well, I always think I'm a great believer. If you can handle the mental side, you you will handle the, the physical side. Mentally, I think you've got to be strong as a footballer because you have so many knocks and, and so many highs, so many lows. And I think if you keep a level, level head, you you always come through uh, certain aspects of the, of, the, of the game. So I think mental uh, strength or toughness is is really really important for a footballer. And we've got some some young ones as well who who are just learning their trade, which which have to get that as well. So as I said before, there's been a lot of good things and some things that that, uh, that have not been so so clever. Final away game of the season. Mm -hmm. As we've said before, your away form yeah. has been what's carried the yeah. team through an awful lot. Some real standout performances away from home. Uh, and a lot of highs, you're right. Uh, and, and, uh, normally it's all reversal. Normally your home form is, uh, but we've obviously done it the other way around, which, which you don't really want to be because the majority of your fans come at home to watch you. So that's something we have to put right for next season. We need to, need to address that really quickly at home. Away from home we've been very, very good. So yeah, we're away again. It's another another hard game, but it's a good game. Derby's last game at home as well and whether they rest players or change players or I, I really don't know. But uh, the size of the crowd will be pretty pretty good. So we're looking forward to going. It's a, you're right, but on the road we've been very good. Is it difficult to put your finger on exactly why away from home you have been yeah. so much better than at home. Uh, uh, teams have came and sat in against us at home. That, that's what teams have done, but we haven't been good enough to break them down. I mean, I mean, if you look at the game on Tuesday, for instance, there wasn't much really in the game. I mean, Dave Edwards, I said, I think, had the, probably had the, the, the best chances the first half of his head. As normally he's been lethal for us. And then the, the one in the set, so there wasn't too much in the game, but we've just not took our chances. I, I always think, when we're dominating games over on top, we have to score. Then a team comes out and plays you. And when a team sits at no no and, and, and gets gets a goal, it becomes even harder. But that's something we have to overcome, something we have to address, and something we have to get players in that, uh, that are comfortable with the ball and can manoeuvre it really quickly. So it's something I know that's going to be rectified, and it's something that that hopefully if we get the right personnel in here that can, can do it. I guess there's always that opportunity, though, that there can be somebody come in. I mean, we talked about Silvio the other night, that it'd been October mm. since he'd last played, and, and he actually did really well the other night. He did. And the only thing we've got this time is 
you know, when you've been at that length of time, you throw somebody in, the adrenaline gets them through. It's the second game where it, yeah. the reality kicks in again. So, we have to watch him. I thought he'd done well. Uh, but we part he have been in the squad again. Um, but I've just got to watch that he doesn't... Uh, yeah, he's, it wasn't just adrenaline running every time, you know. So that that's important. And uh, but I thought he'd done. I thought he'd a good game. Mm. And I guess he's in that big group, isn't he, of of players who futures still have to be decided. And I guess at some point you're going to start to turn your attention to players that you want to bring into the club yeah. as well. We have to, we have to, we, we have to bring in a few players definitely to help help them. I think we've got too many players on the books anyway, as you probably will know. Ones will leave. The new ones will come in, but that's football. That's it. Happens all over the world, and uh, it's something that we have to address. We get players in here that, that I think are going to make us better, and we will be better. We will be better. And uh, as I said, if we could carry our home or away form into our home form, then we wouldn't be far off it. If we get firing in all cylinders up top, end of the pitch, you wouldn't be far off it. So as I said, there's a lot of good things, a lot of, lot of things to look forward to in the summer, but also I'm looking forward to hopefully getting. New players and to help them. I think I think they need it. What are you expecting from Derby? You mentioned it's their final home game, so they're going to want to go out yeah. on a high. It, I mean, Gary's obviously just been in and and, and uh, done a great job at, at Birmingham, and obviously leaves for, for yeah reasons it's probably known to himself. Uh, and had a little flurry at it uh, when, when he went out to Derby and, and obviously missed out. On it, so and they've they've been knocking the door for the last few years and still not not achieved it. So he'll be doing the same as probably I'm doing, assessing a lot of things and seeing what's what, what we can do for the summer. And uh, yeah, but he's done he's done well in his, in his short time at, at Birmingham and then obviously Burton as well done done a good job. So yeah, you expect a hard game. It's the last home game, with a decent sized crowd there. So I said whether Gary rotates or brings in ones he wants to see or ones having their final games then. You have to wait and see. Because you're both probably in a similar position in that you're both at clubs that are going to be expecting to be pushing up towards that top six at least next year. Well, Dar Darby have been there for... Uh, I think they've had really good cracks at it and they've invested an awful lot of money. This club has been doing to League One in the last few years. So th this club is behind Derby as in where it is in, in, the, in the level of championship. But my own ambitions is to try and go up as high as we can and try and, because you want to have the three teams that come down to the Premier League, you've still got Valley, you've still got Norwich and nobody knows Leeds, you, you, you don't know, Leeds could sneak in, Sheffield Wednesday could drop out, you just don't know, you're going to have a number of big, big clubs that are in this in this division next year, so, but I think it's important you, you focus on, on your own, look after your own a, a game, but we, we know we've got a big club here sitting and we have to, we have to be we must be better than what we have been this year.